Comcast has reached out uh, and helped us with uh, important parts of our government, like our D.C. public schools, uh, like our Metropolitan uh, Police Department. Uh, they've also uh, provided a lot of volunteers for us to help with doing things that we otherwise uh, wouldn't be able to do. We're facing some difficult challenges economically in cities such as Hartford and other cities. We don't quite have all of the resources that we would need to do this. So when we have volunteers from Comcast, volunteers from the Knox Park Foundation, uh, working together to do what's happening here today, planting trees, doing cleanups, and uh, working with the community to develop a, a much nicer mood and a much nicer community, it's very important. It's very important and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good feeling. Today has really profound meaning, not only for the thousands of Comcast workers who are out here working for the community, but in a larger sense, what it says about the community, about the corporate image and ethos and values and tradition. And I think that Comcast caring in this way elicits community caring, and that's very, very important. One of the things about public-private partnerships is that you really can't depend on anything in the nonprofit industry. It is so completely unpredictable. Your revenue streams are unpredictable. Uh, and in this economy in particular, you don't know uh, where your resources are going to come from. And so, as we've all seen, governments, the budgets are being cut. You know, you can't really talk about it. We have a bad economy and you can't complain about it, is what I mean to say. But in that sort of a situation, it's important that we always have the ability to reach out and fill the gap because at the end of the day, it's about the youth we serve, and it's about the services and the resources that we can bring to bear. And so if government can't do it, and, and, and communities can't do it for themselves alone, um, it's important to have that sort of a partnership to rely upon as well. As many know, it is very challenging to provide dollars to keep an organization running. And even the dollars that we get for our various programs are often not sufficient. So when uh, organizations like Comcast come in and they're supportive, they're active, they are wonderful uh, in, in our partnership, it makes us feel much, much better about the relationship. All of our cable is Comcast. My home is Comcast. Our notion is that when folks give to you and support you, and you support them. The real challenge was a how do we fund this sort of the, the build out and um, get the ball rolling because it's a big undertaking and fortunately the timing was perfect. Uh, Comcast reached out and uh, it's with the 10th anniversary of the care day and um, you know all of a sudden we have 100 volunteers and resources for topsoil and fencing so the pieces all just came together. It's palpable the, the type of community commitment that the Comcast company has. You know, you have companies that get involved in nonprofits for all different reasons, and I really feel there's a, a genuine interest that the company has in giving back to the community and investing in that community. And so I feel with Comcast we have a true partnership. This is not just a company that's writing a check and doing their own thing. They want to be involved. They want to see the difference happen. They want a nonprofit like City or to lead it, but they want to be supporting in the background. And so I think that's really the reason I appreciate them because I think they're so genuine in their interest in really being invested in the community they serve in.